For just the third time this season, the Cyclones lost at home in regulation, falling last night 4-1 at the hands of the Fort Wayne Comets. Tonight, Cincy welcomes in the Rapid City Rush as they continue their three-game homestand here at Heritage Bank Center. Hello again, Cyclones fans. Everett Fitzhugh back here for Cyclones TV. This is your game day preview. The Cyclones dropping a 4-1 decision last night to Fort Wayne. Head coach Matt Thomas, along with forward Jesse Schultz, break down the game that was for the Clones and offer a look ahead at tonight's action. I think it was one of those games where we just didn't have much of our, uh, our quote-unquote mojo. It was, uh, I, I thought we possessed the puck well. We didn't get to the net hard enough, consistently enough, and uh, obviously we made a... Uh, a few really bad decisions defensively and uh, and they were able to capitalize on it. So it's one of those games that you come in after and you're looking like not much was going the way we needed it to go. And you're going to have those uh, throughout a 72 game se season for us is uh, we can't duplicate that type of uh, a night. So it's a, it's about regrouping, figuring out why and moving forward. Yeah, it was disappointing. Obviously the loss, uh, you know, we've been pretty good at home uh, throughout the year. I think it was our third loss only at home. So. Yeah, we didn't give a lot up defensively. Uh, I didn't think we came out great. We didn't have a lot of energy coming out. Um, we got to our game a little bit later in the game, but we just we couldn't find a way to get pucks by him. You know, we, we got a lot of shots, but uh, I think he saw a lot of them. We didn't get uh, enough bodies to the net. I think that's key at, at any level of hockey. You get pucks to the net, you get traffic to the net, you know, so the goalie can't see it. That's when you're going to get goals. So I think we got to get back to that. and. Uh, Obviously, keep throwing pucks on the net, but getting a little more bodies around there too. Well, I think it's the perfect opponent, to be honest with you. They're they're one of the harder working teams that we've seen, uh, in my opinion. I, I think they just they give everything they've got. They they don't give you a lot of time to make plays. So you've got to earn space, and you got to think quick, and you got to move. I thought you know Fort Wayne, uh, whatever they had going on. Uh, I know they had the flu kind of go through their team starting last week, and uh, they looked a little sluggish uh, to me. So we had a little bit more time, and what that did is just force us to stay on the outside because we because they weren't pressuring as much as they usually do as well so uh, we know we're going to have a team that's in our face tonight and a team that's going to really force us to make quick hard plays and that's all we got to do we just got to we got to get to the middle of the ice and, and create high level scoring chances and more importantly gritty scoring chances I don't know I mean they they saw us too so you know they they know how we're going to play so we're, we're familiar with with each other and uh yeah, obviously they they're they're a hardworking team. They they don't quit. They're they're gonna battle through the whole game. So, yeah, it's important for us to get back to that kind of blue collar way of, of playing. And I think they'll bring the best out in us tonight.